How Thunder and Lightning Came to Be, A Choctaw Tale How Can We Understand Weather and Nature? Long ago, storms came without warning. The weather would suddenly turn from beautiful sunshine to stormy wind and rain. The people would have no time to gather their things and go inside their homes. Their clothes would get soaked, their fires drenched, and their cooking pots flooded. Sun wanted to find a way to warn the people of coming storms, but he was too busy warming the land, so he asked two birds to help. Mr. Bird was small, fast, and silly. His wife, Mrs. Bird, was big, loud, and silly. Mr. and Mrs. Bird, I will give you a home on a soft white cloud, Sun said. Your only task is to find a way to let people know that a storm is coming. Certainly, Sun, we will find a good way, promised the birds. The birds flew to their new home on the soft white cloud. When they had finally settled in, it started to drizzle. They remembered what Sun asked them to do. It's starting to rain. How can we warn people a big storm is coming? asked Mr. Bird. I have an idea, said Mrs. Bird. We'll shout a warning through the clouds. I think that's a very good idea, Mr. Bird said. The two loud birds pushed their heads through the cloud and yelled, A storm is coming! But they were so far away from the earth that no one heard them. Then Mr. Bird said, I have another idea. Let's run from village to village calling out a warning. I think that's a very good idea, Mrs. Bird said. So the two birds ran from village to village and bellowed in their loudest voices, A storm is coming! But they could not outrun the wind and rain. One blustery day, it was time for Mrs. Bird to lay her eggs. She forgot all about warning the people. It's too chilly to fly back to my nest. I think I'll lay my eggs in this cloud instead, Mrs. Bird said. It will be soft and cozy on this very windy day. Since Mrs. Bird was so big, she laid enormous eggs. And as soon as the giant eggs were on the cloud, a strong wind blew, and the eggs began to roll. Mr. Bird, Mr. Bird, catch the eggs, please, Mrs. Bird yelled in her loudest voice. Mr. Bird was far away from home, but he could hear Mrs. Bird calling. He began to fly his fastest. Mr. Bird flapped his wings so fast that sparks flew from his feathers. Zap! Zoom! Flash! As Mr. Bird flashed across the sky, he could hear the sound of Mrs. Bird's giant eggs bumping and banging through the sky. Clatter, rattle, rumble, boom! Clatter, rattle, rumble, boom! Sun listened to the noise of thunder made by Mrs. Bird's eggs as they rolled through the clouds. He watched the streaks of lightning as Mr. Bird flew across the sky and gathered all of Mrs. Bird's eggs. Perfect, said Sun. The loud thunder and the bright lightning will warn the people. From this time on, Sun has listened for the thunder of Mrs. Bird's eggs and looked for the lightning from Mr. Bird's feathers. Only then does Sun send a storm to the people. As soon as they hear the thunder and see the lightning, the people hurry inside. High up on the cloud, Mrs. Bird keeps laying eggs, and Mr. Bird keeps catching them. Once in a while, the silly birds still try to think of a way to warn the people that a storm is coming.